Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today is, well, it's actually Tuesday, but uh, um, you'll be seeing this video on Wednesday. Um, this is what sold on eBay from June 1st through the 7th. Anyways, uh, how is everybody's sales going? Uh, mine are pretty steady. Um, I'll show you that in the next uh, picture when I get to eBay. But yeah, mine are pretty steady. I haven't hit the summer slowdown yet, so cross my fingers. Hopefully it won't happen for at least a little while. Yeah, it's always going to happen. Summer slowdown is a real thing. But anyways, let's get right into the sales. I eat, I had the chili pepper in the <laughs> in the thumbnail, but uh, I actually threw it in the wash. He had a spot on him, and I forgot to bring him back. So sorry, I was going to show you him again, but oh well. Anyways, let's get right into the sales. All right, starting June 1st through the 7th, I did $3,005.30, which was 1% down from the prior week. So, yeah, the prior week was a great week. This is a very good week, so I am very happy with those, especially since it's summertime. It's June. It's summertime, so usually by now the sales have dipped dramatically. Anyways, uh, compared to the prior 31 days, I'm 14% down, which it's summertime. <laughs> uh, compared to the same period a year ago, I am still 91% up, so that is great. My listings are really down. I'm selling a, selling a bunch, and I'm just so busy I can't keep up. So I got to quit fiddle farting around and get some listings up. All right, let's start with this guy. This is a Fallout uh, Vault Boy. Uh, this was in my haul that I did from the Fallout little mystery box from the Bethesda. Um, yeah, sold two so far for ten seventy nine. So if you can get beanies cheap, they sell for like ten to fourteen dollars. So if you can get them for maybe fifty cents a dollar, go ahead and pick them up. Uh, this is the throw blanket. I sold all of them. I've shown you this throw blanket before it's um r w b y i keep forgetting that. <laughs> i've i've said that that so many times wrong anyways it's a really nice blanket and they all sold for 26.99 i wish i could find more of those those really sold and they really sold fast here's the ghostbusters logo cap has the slime on it. Showed you these a few times uh, out of my Ghostbusters mystery uh, box that I bought. Anyways, uh, six is sold so far for $13.49. We have a Funko Disney Pixar. This one I got from uh, GameStop. I think I paid either three or five dollars for it. I don't remember. I think it was closer to three because I don't think I would have picked Vino V Y N L for over three dollars because they're they're not the uh, more popular brand. Funko Pop the uh, is more popular than just the this part of Funko. I mean it's from Funko but it's 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 a different like category. Anyways, I sold this one for sixteen nineteen and I have one still left. Speed Racer, this one came out of my Loot Crate. Uh, nothing special, I just wanted to show you this because it's so just inexpensive, cheap. I think it weighed like one ounce, but people are buying it. Um, sold three so far at ten seventy nine, dollars and it cost nothing to ship. My Little Pony, this was a clearance on Amazon, I believe they were 75 cents. Something like that each, and I figured I'd put in a lot of four. They have like little, I don't, you, it says right here, you pull the string inside and like confetti and stuff comes out. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, sold this set for fourteen thirty nine. I think I just sold another one too. Bushwood Country Club, this is from Caddyshack. Eh, nothing special about the hat. It's from Caddyshack. <laughs> what else can I say about this hat? Um, anyways, um, it's one sold for so far for seventeen ninety nine. It's great that it sold for seventeen ninety nine. I only paid, I believe, like six dollars for the box, five or six. 
All right, the final Funko uh, Pop Batman versus Penguin sold. Just wanted to show you this because this is the last time I have it. Cool little Matt Batman. He has a uh, thing around his mouth. I don't know what it is. <laughs> a breathing device. I guess it stops the poison that Penguin's shooting at him. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, five sold for twenty six ninety nine. Alright, this is a uh, long live the bat. This is a bat signal. I showed this on my shipping video a few days ago. Just wanted to give you um, a glimpse of what I sold it for. It really had bad box damage. It, yeah, Loot Crate really crushed this guy. But anyway, I still got $40 for it. So that is a great deal even though it was damaged. Uh, Loot Crate... I mean, Rick and Morty, I got Luke carried on the brain now. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty, this uh, Rick riding Morty, it's like a skateboard. <laughs> Pretty funny picture. Uh, got sixteen nineteen for him. I've sold two so far. Yeah, I got those out of the Rick and Morty mystery boxes. Uh, the Central Intelligent Unicorn, I had so many of these. I think I maybe had... I don't know, 40, 50. I got a huge lot of these from one of my favorite thrift stores. You can see it's an old picture. I don't even use the mannequin anymore. Yeah, I got paid 25 cents for these and been selling them a lot. Uh, $14.39. I started selling them once I fixed the picture. I put this picture up front. So if you change around the picture, I had this one first and it wasn't selling at all. And then I switched it to this first. So, you, if you, things aren't selling, switch your pictures around. It might help you. Uh, another blanket. I'm not going to go through all these blankets. I've sold so many blankets. This one sold for $21.59. Uh, Mickey, Minnie, Stitch. Stitch is sold out now. I had Skyrim blanket. I have... Uh, what is the Nintendo blanket. I had a Mario blanket. I mean... I have so many blankets and they're just selling like crazy so if you find a good deal on blankets just get them pick them up Fallout 76 this is uh, just a deck of cards <laughs> I mean yeah uh, it sold for 1169 who would think a deck of cards sells for that much but yeah they do so. uh, these are pop sockets I have a ton of these sold um, they range from fifteen to uh, eighteen dollars. It's seventeen ninety nine that sold. Tons of them. I have uh, Raiders, Death Star. Um, yeah, I, I bought a bunch of these at a great deal, and they are selling. So I'm not going to go through all the pop sockets that sold because we have a bunch of things to go through. But anyways, um, if you find a great deal in pop sockets, buy them. I didn't believe that they would sell, but they do. Ah, uh, this is, uh, what is this? <laughs> Sailor Moon, oh, man. Uh, brain freeze for a second. Anyways, uh, this is a Pretty Guardian, Sailor Moon. You see, has a little bit of damage. Has all Japanese writing. Anyways, she sold for nineteen seventy-nine. Two sold already, I still have six left. I got those from uh, Loot Crate. What is next? Now uh, these about a long time ago. This was kind of a bad buy. I paid up for these. Uh, one of the people at GameStop called me like, "Hey, I got a lot of, I got a lot of these Starship Troopers. They're limited edition. Do you want them?" They would like buy two get one free, and I think I paid ten dollars each. So I got three for twenty. So yeah, not making tons of money, and I still have ten available. So Hopefully they start selling, but yeah, it was one of my worst buys on Funko Pop. I usually do pretty well on Funko Pop, but this was a mistake. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Uh, this wasn't a mistake. This is a Neo Geo Mini. Got this from, I believe it was Amazon. Another inexpensive or super sale. Um, one person bought them both and paid international shipping, so... It was, I don't remember how much, it was like 130 or something for the ship, well, for the shipping and the game. So yeah, 
that would that is crazy these mini games all this with the uh, covid going on the yeah they go <laughs> all games and right now are selling like crazy all right on to the plush we have a bunch of plush to go through wanted to show you this, this is harry and david this is like an, a christmas beanie they s christmas sells all year round really cool looking plush really well made well harry and david you know is a good brand and it's actually animal adventure and harry and david okay anyways uh he sold for 14.99 Uh, this one, this was really messed up. I mean, not terribly messed up, but it was all... <laughs> I had to straighten her out because she's full of wires, so she's like posable. You can... But yeah, she was all smashed into like a little circle or a ball. And I, I managed to get her into a decent shape. She looks really good now in the picture. Uh, anyways, get a close-up of her. Annalise, uh, you can tell by the weird face. <laughs> Yeah, she was all crushed. Just took some, just took some time. Anyways, I got twenty four twenty nine for, her. and she's but she had to ship in a huge box so I wouldn't damage her. It was like a sixteen by twelve box. It, it was huge, but it made it under a pound, so at least that was good. So keep your eye out for Annalie. They always sell well. Eeyore, um, <laughs> he's got funny slippers on. Uh, all Winnie the Pooh items for some reason started started selling for me. Um, last year I couldn't give away Pooh items, but this year, or the last like two months, I have sold a good ten Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and uh, characters like that. Usually the only the, like the owl or the specialty characters sell from Winnie the Pooh, but this year Winnie the Pooh's really selling. My bins have gone down from Winnie the Pooh, so. Maybe it's time to get back into Winnie the Pooh because I usually pass them up because they're they're very oversaturated, but they're starting to sell for me. This is a Build-A-Bear Small Fry Ice Cream Cone Bear. You can see a little ice cream cone on his feet. Let's see if I can get a close-up. He's got a cherry on his nose. That's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a little ice cream cone on, the, on his feet. He's real small. That's why I couldn't sell him for a ton of money. I got 1349, which I'm happy with that because he weighs like maybe like six ounces, so it was nothing to ship. Pink flamingo, this is like an Easter flamingo. He's got all that uh, flowers on his neck. They're from Kids, yeah, Kids of America, so not a great brand, but still, he's a cool bird. I received uh, 1529 for it, so. Not bad for an off name, Bert. <laughs> Say Bert. Um, Pinocchio Figaro the Cat. This one sold overnight as soon as I put it up. Maybe I listed it too low, but it's so small. It's barely six inches. It's like, eh. Made, I think it's made directly from Disney. No, it's just play. So, yeah, it's not even the, the greatest brand. Disney is a better brand, but. Anyway, it's got twelve fifty nine with the ten percent off, so maybe I should have listed them at fourteen ninety nine with the ten percent off. I don't know. And here's another one that I listed and it sold overnight. Uh, this is a good dinosaur. This is Arlo. He's about let's see, he's about nine inches tall. Another just play, so not the best brand of Disney. Anyways, he sold for fourteen thirty nine and almost overnight, so that is great. This monkey I actually sold twice. <laughs> um, sold it last week. I couldn't find it for the life of me. Uh, with all this stuff in my house, there's like nine Gaylords. He fell under a bag. I didn't know. I listed him and he fell under the bag. I knew that I just listed him, but I look. I tore both houses apart, and when I started... Uh, going through some of the stuff I was going to list he showed up so I already refunded the f original person and <laughs> resold it so yeah I don't know why this monkey wants to sell I mean he's not an interesting brand he's not he's nothing special but th this monkey wants to 
Uh, people want this monkey for some reason. I guess he's cool looking. But whatever. Let's keep going. Uh, dandy, plush giraffe. Uh, have a bunch of giraffes. Giraffes haven't been great for me lately. Just been holding on to them. I mean, even like the Toys R Us giraffes, they seem to be oversaturated. But this one sold, and he sold for, or she sold for, fifteen twenty nine. Uh, teddy bear with a storybook. I just wanted to show you this one because even these little tiny little things sell. So don't just re-donate them. Put them up. I mean, you get like, what, $10? What did I get for it? I mean, ten seventy nine, and You're making a good $5 profit. So why not throw it up? Better than re-donating them. This one surprised me. I looked the comps up on this one. And this is a Build-A-Bear Coyote. And this one sold within two days of me listing it. So for sure, if you find this guy, I don't care what you have to pay. If you have to pay $5, get him. It's sold almost overnight. Well, sold within two days for $53.99. Uh, $53 uh, another one that's sold almost overnight. This is Shelly Mae Duffy, uh, which is Duffy's friend. Pink dress. Actually, the hair bow made a difference. Made about, uh, I don't know, about $5, 10 difference. Most of the bears that I saw did not have the hair bow, so I raised the price and it still sold within one or two days of me listing it. Sold for $35.99. Alright. <laughs> uh, this guy's funny. I wish I could uh, have him talk for you. He's hilarious. This is The Rock, Maui. <laughs> Uh, just thinking of what the stupid things that he says. But anyways, he sold for twenty six ninety nine, and maybe sold... I think it took two or three days to sell him too. So, a lot of things, if you find the right toys, they're just selling overnight. This is a realistic husky dog. Puppy dog. I put husky, I put dog, I put puppy, I put... Uh, if his face kind of looks realistic, make sure you put realistic in the listing. He's small, but still sold for over fifteen dollars, fifteen twenty-nine, and yeah. All right, Disney Pixar up, Pixar up dog. This is Doug. This is the talking dog in the movie. He doesn't talk on this one. Anyways, he's small, six inches. Took a couple days to sell, and he sold for thirteen forty-nine. Miko, Punka, Pocahontas Raccoon. <laughs> uh, not the in the greatest shape, but yeah. And he looks good in the pictures. <laughs> he sold for $14.39. And he sold within a couple days of listening to him too. So I'm just lucky now that things are selling so fast when I'm listing them. Uh, cozy Sheep, Microwavable. These one, these are heavy. They weigh almost two pounds. So what I do is I just throw them in the flat rate envelope. I put them in a, a bag first and then throw them in the flat rate envelope. It still costs like six something to ship, but it's way cheaper than shipping them priority or anything else. Anyway, I sold them for nineteen seventy nine, and those things, though the microwavable ones go fast, especially if they have like a. Uh, different smell in them like lavender or stuff like that. Alright, I showed you this guy on the shipping video. This is the canine uh, dog. I just wanted to show you what he sold for. He actually sold for nineteen seventy nine. So yeah, keep your eye out for the canine dogs. Even if they're from uh, different areas. This is LVMPD. So Las Vegas Metro Police Department. Yeah, so keep your eye out for all those. Even the little the guys with the the different outfits, like the policemen and the firemen, all those sell fast too. This is Hey Hey, <laughs> yeah, funny looking chicken from Moana. 
You gotta see the ones that actually make the sound. Those things are hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this one sold within a couple days listing it for $17.99. And Moana's hot right now, so if you find Moana characters, pick them up for sure. Uh, this is uh, Monster Zinc, Sully. Uh, actually, I lowered the price on this guy. He was taking up, he's big, you can see he's like 16 inches. He was taking up my almost my entire bin so I lowered the price just to get rid of him I was tired of him hanging around he's been in there probably good two years or so anyways I finally sold him for $22.49 and I'm happy to finally get rid of this guy uh, here's another Moana plush he has actually a cut on his ear you can see right there uh, Nothing special about the pig. His name is Pua. <laughs> Pua Pig. And make sure if you, you see the authentic patch, go ahead and put it in the listing. People will be looking for it. It's this patch right here. If I can click on it. See right here. Did I take a picture of it? Let's see. Let's see if I sh took a picture of the patch. No, I did not. Oh, well. <laughs> you can see right there. Hopefully you can see. Anyways, um, he sold for fourteen thirty nine, even with a little rip in his ear. Wild Republic Lorikeet had this guy for a couple of years. Uh, I can tell because of the beginning picture. I never put the yardstick in the picture anymore. But yeah, had him for a couple of years. Finally sold. I don't race to the bottom, so I rarely lower uh, my prices, especially when they're this small. When they're this small, they can just stay in the bird bin forever. I don't care. But anyways, he finally sold for $14.39. Alright, Sensi. Here's another one I, it took forever to sell. Sensi used to be a hot, hot uh, commodity. This would sell for great prices. But the market has gone down with Sensi. Anyways, uh, took like four years I believe to sell this guy and but finally sold for 1709 I refused to go any lower so <laughs> finally got him to sell here is a lot of two little dinosaurs nothing special about these guys just put them together because I didn't know what to do with them they were the last two dinosaurs I had to list and I'm like oh I can't sell them separately because it'd get like six bucks a piece I won't do that uh, so I just threw them in a lot, and they finally sold for $13.49. Uh, this is a Buckwheat Lynx Sparkly Glitter Eyes. Uh, Ty, regular toys aren't the greatest, but, I mean, the Beanie Boos do a lot better than the, just the regular ties. See, I had no scratches on his eyes, which always helps. Uh, and he sold for $13.49. Alright, another one that sold uh, overnight. This is uh, Inside Out Joy. So, one of the main characters from Inside Out. I have other ones on, on or listed. And they haven't sold. But this one, as soon as I listed it, it sold. So, maybe someone was just hoping and waiting for this specific Joy. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, I got fourteen thirty nine for her. Angry Bird. All these ones with the helmets or different color Angry Birds do great. This one did not have the sound. Uh, someone ripped it. Actually, ripped it out of his head. And I had my mom sew this up right here, the seam up. I guess someone just wanted the sound. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, he sold for twenty six ninety nine, so which is great for a little Angry Bird pig. All right, this is a Los Angeles Lakers NBA. This is a super cheap and expensive bear, but sports are starting up right now, so make sure you get the, all these guys listed. I mean, the Clippers, the Lakers, any popular teams, football, basketball. Get them up. People are looking for them, even if they're like cheap and bad, like this guy. <laughs> Hate to say it that way, but yeah, it's true. Um, listed them for twelve ninety nine. Got uh, finally sold for eleven sixty nine. So 
not great, but hey, for something that you might just toss out, it, it is great. Costco Little Miracles. Costco brand does great. It's like a baby toy. Had a lot of like little like specks in them. I guess they, they caught on people's hands and stuff. So I had to um, get masking tape and <laughs> just take it all off. Um, he usually comes with a blanket. So I had to make sure to put in the description that he did not have his blanket. Anyway, still without the blanket, he sold for $16.19. Here's a lot of five. These are tiny, like six, five, five, six inch little My Little Ponies. Another, I don't know what to do with. They're so tiny. So I just made a lot of them. So you can see they're just barely six inches. And they sold for $19.79. Wound up being pretty good for me, so. All right, this is Catbug. If you know Catbug, he has a funny, hilarious voice. <laughs> He's on the Bravest Warriors from the Cartoon. I think it's Cartoon Network, if I believe. Anyways, um, you can see, you can tell him by his weird face. You can keep an eye out for this guy. This one's from Applause, so it's a very good company. But he sold for $17.99. Alright, Steven Universe. I've had this for a little while. Picked up a bunch of different toys. This is from GameStop. Paid $3 for them. This is a limited edition toy doll. I, well, it's called Yellow Diamond. I don't know. I've never watched Steven Universe, so I'm not sure what this guy, girl, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, anyways, he sold for $26.99. Or she. <laughs> Aurora Husky, this is a Bigfoot, like, husky dog, wolf toy. You see, hey, nothing special. They've just been coming out with these uh, of late. Even uh, Disney has a big feat now. So keep your eye for them if you can get them cheap. Uh, this one sold for $16.19. Russ, I'm almost out of these guys. This is a unicorn cat, a unicat. This is a blue one, little pink sparkly horn, purple sparkly bow. Uh, I paid $3 for these guys at the GameStop uh, clearance, plush clearance, and they're selling for $15.29. Five sold already, I have one left. Gans, Webkins, Blue Hippo, this is has no code. Just wanted to show you this guy because they do sell even without the code. This is a crazy little hippo has like little <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it like little threads coming off of its back or her back there's a little webkin sign but it's still sold for eleven sixty nine. Sesame Street Big Bird this is Build-A-Bear come on click through all right here we go <laughs> uh, large Big Bird Nothing special about the Big Bird, just a Build-A-Bear. Let's see. But, still got $17.99 for him, so, yeah. Nothing special about Big Bird. <laughs> uh, bear Me. Bear Me is a very good bear. You ever find this one in the wild, pick it up. As It has actually on its foot. It should have a close-up of that. Come on. There we go. You can see Bear Me. Don't put your fingers in the pictures, guys. Stop doing that. <laughs> uh, laying down I think he, he's like 17 inches 18 inches what is he 16 inches uh, but yeah he has uh, leather paws or full leather paws and got $17.99 for him not bad for just like what 50 cents of the Goodwill Bones Bell Bell is always uh, one to look out for this is Snoopy's girlfriend or sister I don't know <laughs> I've watched Snoopy a long time but yeah every time I find a bell especially with a cool dress or something different on her she sells right away this is a like a vintage tag she sold for $31.49 within maybe like three days Shrek this Shrek ogre 
Um, again, nothing special about Shrek. Keep your eye out for him because he always sells. Let's see, Nanco brand. Oh, that one's upside down. Not sure why Shrek is upside down, but okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he sold within a week of listing him for twenty-two forty-nine. A few more. Uh, aliens. No matter what brand of aliens, I can't keep them in stock. I don't know. People like the aliens. It has like a Z on his head. I didn't even know how to describe this guy. If it wasn't an alien, I probably would have tossed it because it has no brand. It has nothing to... Yeah, he, he was just just an alien. I mean, I don't even didn't even know how to describe it. I just put green punk alien, orange Z or lightning hair, plush toy stuff. So I didn't know how to describe it, but someone found it and he gave me fifteen twenty nine for it. So keep an eye out for aliens. They do sell. Uh, Gun Boo Pomeranian. This is the world's cutest dog. I've had a bunch of these. They always sell. And usually sell for pretty decent money. You see, it even says "world's cutest dog" on the on the tag, and eh, sold for nineteen ninety nine. Last one. This is a club penguin puffle. I've told you about these guys all the time. As soon as I get them listed, they sell. I mean, they don't sell for much, but they sell. I mean, <laughs> never know what sells on eBay, but. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up, guys. Take care. See you next video. Bye.